Hello, my name's Hannah and I'm an illustrator and artist. I like telling stories through pictures, whether they be fairy tales, scientific or historical based, or even decorative. I get a lot of inspiration from the natural world um, and I love making things and I love that creativity can bring out the playful side in people. You might have met me last year at Make My Day where we made cardboard critter crowns. Today we're making some decorative garlands in celebration of Morecambe's coastal culture using seagulls, shrimp and fish as our muses. So if you gather together your materials you'll need some PVA glue and a brush or spatula, a sharp pencil and sharpener, four pipe cleaners, preferably 30 centimetres long, although don't worry too much about that, and some ribbon, slightly longer than your window is wide, plus a little extra, and some cardboard, and some scissors. For decorating some scrap paper or magazines, and some old sweetie foils or silver foil. Just check with an adult, it's not needed to make your dinner first. Um, and some washi tape and stickers, or if you'd prefer, paints and pens. And then if you've got anything in your recycling that's round and could be transformed into a bead, like bottle tops, toilet rolls, dog poo bag inner tubes, cotton reels, um, actual beads would be a bonus, but don't worry too much. We can make them out of paper. I'll, I'll just do a quick demo now. Cut long triangular strips of paper, starting from the thicker end, wrap around a pencil, then secure with PVA glue, pushing it all the way around so the whole surface is covered. Gently prise off and dry. And also, if you haven't got pipe cleaners, there's loads of things you could use instead. Here's a few alternatives. Paper straws, wire, strips of felt or raffia string, but you might find something even better. So we have four different things you can have a go at making, and there are some templates included. A simple diamond shape will fold into triangular bunting. We've got some seagulls as if in flight. Some simple sparkly wee fish. And if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can have a go at making a shrimp or few. So I'm aware you might not have an awful lot of card. Just as an example, I've used one card envelope here. If you're careful and plan where your templates go, you can get a lot of mileage out of a fairly small surface area. And if your card isn't big enough to fit the full shape, for example the gull and bunting, you can just do half and add a flap to one side to stick later on. For the fish, I've put together clusters of four, but it's up to you how many you want to do. Then simply wrap your foil around and pinch it in so it clings to the shape. You might need to secure it with some PVA glue too. Okay, if you could get an adult to help you for the next few steps. Use something like an old magazine to protect the surface you're working on. Then get your pencil and use it to puncture a hole through the top of each fish. Attach your cluster together. Using your template as a guide, do the same with your triangular bunting, then decorate. Now to decorate the gulls, here are some examples I made earlier. <laughs> I've used some scrap paper that's quite pretty and some washi tape and stickers for a more geometric graphic design, but it's completely up to you what you want to do. Um, you could use paints or pens if you prefer. Now for the shrimp. Using the template again, let's put the holes in. Think about what you're using for the legs, antenna and ribbon and how big or small the holes will need to be. And it would be great if you could get an adult to help you with this too.
Then snip diagonally backwards like so and gently fold and manipulate the card into a more curved shape. Lastly snip along the bottom edge so you've got a fringing type look for the tail fan. Then decorate. Now to put our shrimps together. Get your four pipe cleaners, preferably about 30 centimetres long, although don't worry too much, you can experiment with different lengths and so on. The first will remain as one long piece and the rest cut into three equal parts, so you should have something like this. And then if you thread them through like so, Like I said before, if you don't have pipe cleaners, don't despair. Just be as playful and imaginative as you like. Play with the direction you want your garland to go. You can either go horizontally or vertically. With the horizontal garlands, you also have the option of hanging things down. If you want to do this or have your garland vertical, you'll need to make a hole in the top of your bunting and gulls. Top tip. For the gulls it will need to be here as shown on your template so they hang at just the right angle. Now have fun making up your garlands. You can play around with adding found objects, beads, toilet rolls, bottle tops and such from your recycling. The main thing is to just enjoy. Thanks very much for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.